Good morning, Emmanuel Church London. Happy Monday. Welcome to The Big Idea. Before we go any further, just wanted to explain a little bit more about this segment in the week that we're doing now called The Big Idea. The whole point is that every single Monday, we're going to be coming to you in this format and explaining a little bit more about what we heard on the Sunday. What we've realized in this season is we have this great opportunity to connect with one another online and to get hold of the message that comes from a Sunday and just sort of sit in it really, understand it a little bit more. I don't know about you, but often when I listen to a preach, I'll be sort of saying yes and amen. I might even write a couple of notes here and there, but very often by the Wednesday, I forgot that I even listened to it. That's really bad (laughs) because what we want to do is we want to get hold of the message that comes from the word of God and we want it to get inside of us. We want it to be heart changing. We want it to transform our minds. And sometimes we need to keep coming back to the same subject and going over and over it again. And we want to do that in our family context. We want to do that as as a wider church. And so every day through the week, we're going to have different segments that come your way that are going to help you get hold of the preach, the the message that came from the Sunday. This week then, the big idea in terms of the subject was the subject of justice. And we had the privilege of listening to Stu on Sunday. Hopefully you've had time to do that. If you haven't, I would highly recommend that you go and find that on our YouTube channel and have a listen. The subject of justice is massive. And of course, we are going to be hearing through the course of this week a little bit more about some of the applications of what we heard. But also in a couple of weeks time, it's almost going to be coming back to the same subject where we're going to hear a little bit about the prophets um, in terms of the journey through the Bible and understanding more about the subject that we're looking at around money and finance, the heart of the issue. This week, one of the, the big things that I suppose I heard, and one of the things that I know Stu was was communicating, was that the justice of God is worked out through his people. Remember back to when Stu was speaking and he was talking about the law being written on our hearts. He talked about it being burned on our hearts so that as a people, as Christians on a daily basis, we're actually hearing from God these promptings that come from him to see injustice, but also to respond accordingly. If we genuinely want to see justice come, whether that's in the society that we live in, the communities that we're engaged with, but even in our workplaces and in politics, we have an opportunity as Christians to present ourselves in those places to bring justice that comes from the heart of God. And I want to encourage you this week, and I touched on it a little bit at the end of Sunday, that has to start from walking with Jesus. And I know that sounds like a little bit cliche and a bit obvious, but it really is important that we don't just start to do things out of duty, but we understand the reality of the heart of our Father. Stu said it as well, didn't he, that progression in our society and culture isn't taking us further into justice, that God has been a justice throughout the whole of history. If we really are serious about seeing breakthrough and justice in any subject that you want to look at, the best place to start is the heart of God. So I want to encourage you this week, first of all, take some time to pray. Take some time to get before God and say, God, would you teach me your ways? I also want to encourage you to get hold of that book that we recommended, The Call to Action sorry, The Call to Act by Natalie Williams and encourage you to get into that. If you're not a big reader, don't worry, join the club. Maybe ask somebody that's read the book and you can have some conversations there. I know we'll be picking it up in connect groups. But the other thing is this, is every time either you leave the house, if you're able to do that at the moment, or you pick up a phone call or you're going to have some time with somebody, why don't you just remember to say to God, God, I want to be used by you today in the subject of justice. Every time you leave the house, every time you pick up a call. And let's just see what God starts to do as we start to cultivate that attitude in our own hearts as individuals belonging to a local church. I believe if we start to ask that question of him, we will start to act and we still will start to see change. Let's try and do that together this week. I'd encourage you to tune into the rest of the content that you're going to be hearing. And if you do hear any stories or you experience any stories on this subject or anything else, we'd love to hear from you. Please do email us and contact us with those stories. God bless you. Have a wonderful week. Please remember this subject of justice and God's justice being worked out through his people. Let's grab hold of it. Let's try and understand it more and he will use us accordingly. See you soon.